Hey everyone, hopefully everybody's doing great. I got a story here. I uh, uh, got a call from uh, Bell MTS and uh, anyways, they called me up and said, hey, we got a good deal for you. We can uh, bring down your charges down by X number of, uh, so I thought, well, okay, what can you do? So I started listening over. I thought, well, you know, that's a very good deal. So anyways, I uh, went ahead and did that and um, and they said uh, and what we'll do is we're gonna since you've been such a loyal customer for the last 20 years and I'm thinking 20 years yeah I guess the landline is uh, almost like 20 years so I decided they said what we're gonna do is we're gonna send you a gift we're gonna send you an iPad okay so I thought well they're gonna send me an iPad so I just thought well this is a uh, probably a crock is what it was so anyways and uh, you know, and in my email, just right after I talked to them, they say, uh, this is the deal you're gonna get, is uh, you're gonna pay your, and considerably cheaper per month is, uh, so I thought, okay, well, anyways, about six days later, in the mail, we get a package. And the package is actually an Apple Watch. And this value of this Apple Watch is about $600. So anyways, I thought, okay, and, uh, well, uh, well, great. And I get a call and they say, uh, we sent you the wrong package. Uh, we're gonna send you the, um, we need, we, you needed to send it to this address up in Ontario. So, and then we'll send you the iPad. So I thought, well, everything's legit here. And, uh, and they say also, uh, uh, so they give me the there's a, a letterhead from Bell and says uh, the address it needs to go to and uh, and then send it to Canada Post you pay for it and we'll refund you the money you in 48 hours so I thought well you know what that's a pretty good deal so uh, I thought uh, well let's see what happens here it's uh, and so anyways uh, figured in a few days from now uh, I'm gonna get uh, an iPad that's gonna show up in the mail well no iPad shows up and as I get my bill looking at it yesterday I'm thinking well this is kind of odd I'm not paying anything uh, less than what I was before I'm actually paying more so one thing led to another I found out that I was scammed so uh, they were able actually to, uh, so I tried opening up my account. I couldn't open my account because they somehow were able to put their email on it. So, and it was a contacted customer service at uh, Bell. Uh, they will refund me the money that uh, will that was supposed to be paid on the account for the Apple Watch and. Uh, I got my email back now I can look at my stuff online but it makes me wonder you know we all want they will these companies want to go paperless and if I wouldn't have got if I didn't get my notifications on the uh, uh, email like I like seeing a paper bill how many p other people are being scammed so I'm gonna tell you if you get a call from uh, Bell Rogers and they say they got this great deal they are full of uh, baloney anyway so please be careful out there know who you're talking to on the other end of the phone anyways so hopefully this helps that you don't get scammed I think the only thing I'll be out is uh, $28 for shipping this to Ontario but if I wouldn't have shipped it I probably would have got a free Apple watch for nothing, which was valued 650 bucks. Anyways, you have a good one out there. Hey, Willie. It's my dog, Willie. So this situation caused a little bit of a circus. I'm actually gonna take, you clowns are gonna be made aware to the public because I'm going to be throwing out the email and also the phone number that you idiots still are having. And my parcel was shipped to Oshawa, Ontario.
I will take a pic of it and you will see it just right after this.